Hey y'all, it's Jess from Sunflower Dairy. Today we're going to do a garden tour. It's really breezy today, so hopefully you can hear me all right. All right, so why I garden is I want to know where my food comes from. I also want to know what's on my food, where my food is growing. And I think it's really wonderful to see the process of how food grows, sticking a seed in the ground, watching it sprout, and then seeing the plant have blossoms and fruit and then harvesting that i think all of that's super important all right let's get started all right so first off i want to show you the potatoes all right look at these they're starting to flip over and they're starting to get a little bit of yellowing on plants in here and the other day i actually went through and looked at all the plants and there was potatoes starting to grow above ground so I picked some of those off the top of the ground because you don't want your potatoes to start turning green so probably in the next week or two I'm going to be harvesting these all right the radishes here they're starting to flower go to seed the butterflies are loving these so I'm just going to keep leaving them here there's so many butterflies and that's really beneficial to the garden so I'm just gonna leave those the cilantro over here that's starting to turn we've got a whole bunch of little cilantro seeds starting to form so there's only a few cilantro flowers on here but we're gonna go ahead and leave these the pollinators are still all over it and then we'll be able to harvest a bunch of cilantro seeds and that's super easy I'll show you that how to do that in another video look at these peas they are really growing like crazy look at all these peas here so many actually on this side over here the plant is starting to fall over from so many peas on here but I've been harvesting these like crazy. There's just so many. So it's just at that time of year where we're getting a lot. Also over here, the beans are really starting to climb up. Right here you can see this plant is actually starting to climb up this T-post right here from the trellis. And a couple more inches, this plant's going to be taller than me. So there's a few different pole beans on here. So those are doing really great also calendula super beautiful that's doing lovely I also planted some lettuce down here you can see and this is actually the longest that I've had lettuce grow in the summer season because usually when it gets super hot then it's done but this lettuce is hiding in the shade here so it's doing a lot better this actually doesn't taste bitter at all so that means it's doing really wonderfully all right over here I have some daisies and then there's also some sunflowers here and all these peppers are doing really well in here I also have these onions which are doing great they're start starting to bulb up and I also have quite a few tomatoes back there that are starting to get flower I'll show you real quick some of the flowers on these tomatoes back here there's also some beautiful purple basil over here the smell of basil is beautiful all right so oh there's a chicken in the garden go on <laughs> all right these volunteer sunflowers, they're going to be taller than me pretty soon. They're doing great. 
looks like they still have quite a bit of growing. There's no signs of flowers anytime soon. All right, there's quite a few strawberries over here. Let me see if I can find one. Hang on a second. Found a little one. beds they're really starting to bloom there's quite a few lilies in here and daisies there's quite a few echinacea in here a lot of people like to use echinacea for tea we'll dig up the root and use different parts of the plant to make tea with that all right I believe over in the berry patch I saw some raspberries over here so let's see if I can find some to show you all it's very warm here like 92 degrees so it's a warm one all right all right found a raspberry which are they're starting to do their thing those are gonna be beautiful all right lots of tomatoes doing awesome there's a lot of them that have a ton of blooms right now all right let's head over to the strawberry garden of the tomatoes and there's a plant in the straw bales. There's another one down there. Some more. All of those. Alright, let's head over to the spot down here where I have a whole bunch of squash. So down here is where we let one of some of the homestead animals down here to dig up a whole bunch of the ground and there's a whole bunch of squash just growing everywhere. Some of this volunteered and then others 
I planted so there's gonna be a whole lot of different varieties of squash in here so I'm excited to see what actual kinds of squash we get Beautiful lavender. <laughs> 